Hey guys, King Cage here, and welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to model a bow and an arrow on Blender. Let's get right into this. So first off, let's go ahead and click Shift A, and let's go down to Image, and let's add our reference image. So here's a reference image right here. Not really the best quality, but it'll do. If you are looking for a good reference image of a bow, look up stylized bow on Google, and you'll get tons of images of some pretty good looking bows, such as this one. This one is kind of low quality. But it's whatever let's go ahead and click shift a and let's add in a cylinder you can add however many vertices you want for this i'm gonna add about eight vertices because i want it to be kind of low poly now let's go ahead and scale it down and let's start off with the very tip right up here so let's click g just to move it up there hold down z go into wireframe let's select this top face let's move it up and let's just kind of scale it downward so this will be the nice little point but yeah let's go ahead and click r to rotate it and we're pretty much just going to click E to extrude all the way down this. We aren't going to include these little pieces just yet because we'll include this later. But let's go ahead and move it down here. Let's click E. Let's scale it up and down where we need to just to go ahead and match the reference image. And let's go ahead and keep clicking E and follow this all the way down the bow. And in parts like this right here, you just kind of have to guess where the bow is going to be. It's not too important because this part right here is going to be covered up by that little piece so we don't really need to worry too much about that and there we go there is our pretty bad outline right there but it's all right it doesn't look too good right now but it's gonna look a lot better once we cover it up with these other metal pieces so what we're gonna do let's just add in make sure we're in edit mode let's go into wireframe let's click shift a and let's add in another cylinder and let's scale it down so now we're gonna outline these metal parts right here so these metal parts should be a little bit easier and a little bit faster so let's go ahead and scale this down so it matches that size there we go let's select this face right here not that one this bottom one move it up kind of scale it up so it matches that now click e to extrude and then just click and then click s to scale now let's rotate it just a little bit so it matches about right there and then e to extrude once again and then just scale it up just like that now what we're going to do is click shift d to duplicate this one face scale it down and then just do this for all of the pieces right down here. And there we go. There is our simple outline right there. If we go back in solid view, this is what it looks like. We make it look a little bit better by kind of beveling these edges right here. So for this one right here, we'll just click this face. And we can click Control B to bevel it. And since we're going for a low poly look, we're just going to bevel it once. We'll also select these two faces right here, bevel these, and about right there. And if we need to, we can click L and then G and kind of align it back in the middle. This face, this face, Control B to bevel. There we go. Add a little bit more detail. This one, bevel it like this. And then we'll also select this top face right here and bevel it just a little bit. We can also scale it up a little bit as well. And there we go. That is looking pretty good. We are also going to add a little bit more detail to it as well. Actually, I forgot this one up here. What we can do is we can select this, Control D, I mean Shift D, there we go. Now rotate it and then just align it right there. And there we go, nice and easy. And we'll add a little bit more detail to this part right here in just a second because it is looking just a little bit plain right now. And we'll also add more detail to these other parts too as well. So now let's click Shift A to add. Let's add another cylinder. Let's rotate it 90 degrees, scale it down. So these are going to be these little things right there, those little dots. So what we are going to do, let's select this face, Control B to bevel. And these are going to be kind of small. So let's select this face and let's just move it over. There we go. Select it. Let's also scale it down. And these are just going to be like kind of the little buttons on the side kind of. So now what we're going to do, Shift D, duplicate it and RZ 180 to rotate it 180 degrees on the Z axis. And do this. There we go. And we're pretty much just placing these on all four corners. So one right there, there. And then we are also going to do this, Shift D, RZ 90 to rotate it 90 degrees on the Z axis. And we are just going to place it right there, Shift D, RZ 180 to rotate it rotate 180 degrees on the Z axis and there we go so now we are going to do that right there for all of these ones right here and there we go after a few minutes we have those little buttons on all of these ones right here and we could put them on this top and bottom one but we're not going to do that just yet if you want to you can but I'm gonna wait just a little bit to do that so now what we are going to do are these little circles right there so let's go back into edit mode let's go shift a and let's add in a torus just like this so this is going to add lots of triangles and stuff, which we don't want. 
So let's go ahead and move this down and about right there. Yep, that's good. Now let's also move these segments down as well. And eight segments seems good. And all right, let's rotate 90 degrees on the Y axis, so RY90. And let's move it just right up here. So let's make sure it's aligned up. It doesn't have to exactly match the picture. We can make it a little bit bigger just so it looks good. And also, if you kind of want, if you want it to be a little bit thicker, what you can do is you can hold down all S and you can make it thicker just like this. You make it really thin or you can make it really thick. I'm just going to make it a little bit thicker just to make it look good. Let's go shift D and let's move this one all the way down here on the bottom. There we go. I don't really recommend rotating them too much whenever you move them, maybe a little bit. But not too much because we do still need to add that string right there now for the string what we'll do is let's add in a cylinder scale this down and you might want to make the string a little bit different if you're trying to like animate it and make it move and stuff but we're not trying to do that we're just trying to model a bow right now so yeah, let's go as a z to scale it on the z axis let's rotate it let's move it about right there all right there we go now we'll grab this top face there we go let's grab the top one now let's move it down by clicking G. And there we go. There's our little string right there. So this is what our bow currently looks like. Pretty good. Pretty good looking. But this handle right here does look a little bit weird. So what we'll do, let's go back into edit mode and maybe wireframe. And what we can do is let's just grab one of these faces. So grab this face right here, uh, shift D. And let's just add a little bit of detail right here. So let's just scale it down. Maybe extrude it upward just like this. Extrude it L. Uh, shift D rotate it and just add a little bit more detail I guess maybe something like that that looks pretty good now let's click this move it downward let's go shift D let's rotate it 180 degrees like that and then just place another one right there and there we go that is looking pretty nice let's also move this one down and all right yep that handle looks a lot better now with that and there is our bow now for the arrows we pretty much just do the same thing so let's grab a cube, let's rotate it on the z-axis 45 degrees actually, and let's rotate it on the x-axis 90 degrees. Let's scale it down, move it over here. So this is going to be the tip, let's go back into wireframe. So let's align that right there, grab the bottom face, scale it down, and let's move this one right here. We do want it to be symmetrical, so we are going to click E to extrude. And we are just going to use this little moving tool instead of clicking G because we do want it to be symmetrical. Now let's select those vertices at the top, click M, merge them at the center so it makes a nice little point. And this is what it is currently looking like. We can also click it, click L, click SX to scale on the X axis and make it a little bit flatter. Not too flat though. Now let's select this face right here, click E to extrude, extrude it just a little bit probably. Now let's add in another cylinder, so many cylinders. Let's rotate it on the x-axis 90 degrees, scale it down and move it upward. Scale it down once again. Let's try to make it in the center. So scale it down. And yeah, that looks pretty good. Let's grab this face right here and actually let's make sure it's inside of there. There we go. Grab this face and move it down to however long you want your arrow to be. I'm not gonna make it too long. Maybe like right there. Let's grab the entire, entire arrow all of it let's move it over and now for this ending right here you can kind of make it whatever you want what i think i'm gonna do is i'm gonna just click shift d scale it like this i'm just probably gonna make it a simple diamond shape and maybe something like that that doesn't really look like the best arrow but it's not the worst for this ending you can add it add whatever you want i'm not too good at making feathers so i'm not gonna add a feather as the ending for it but i think that ending to the arrow does look pretty good now let's rotate it on the x axis so our x 90 rotate like this move it down there hide this and there we go now we have our pretty nice bow and arrow and that is how you make a bow and arrow on blender though so that's gonna be all for this video so make sure you leave a like subscribe and turn on post notifications and i'll see you all in the next video